Hey everyone, what's going on? So, here is the long-awaited battle jacket update. Um, and sad to say that I haven't really done much to it, but nonetheless, I did want to put out a battle jacket video because I haven't done it in just such a long time, and I know that you guys have been wanting to see a battle jacket video, so, um... I have, I do have some stuff to show you guys and some ideas I want to throw out there. So we're going to start with this vest. So this vest was um, like my newest project, I guess you could say. Um, I did move this, um, this, this Megadeth patch was actually over here and Slayer was over here. But as you can see, I switched them to the opposite side. Um, right here, um, I put Hallow's Eve. Um, I, I believe this was um, on my flannel, I think? I'm not exactly sure where I actually had this patch before. I forgot where I had it. It's been such a long time, but I remember I put it on here. And um, something was right here that I totally forgot. You can go back and watch my older Battle Jacket videos to find out what was right here, but Nonetheless, I moved it here. Uh, Master is still in the same place. And like I said, I moved Slayer. This is still in the same spot, and so is this one. <clears throat> and then up here is all the same. I don't know if I showed you last time, but I put buttons on the little pocket here. So I have Rainbow, Rising, uh, Dio, Dream Evil, and Destruction, Release from Agony. And then I have over here, I have Death Leprosy. My D. Snyder pin, which is awesome. It's, it, this, like, reminds me of that in the music video um, for, I think it's We're Not Gonna Take It, where he's, like, the dad, like, gets mad at the son for having a twisted sister pin on, like, his shirt or whatever. That's what this reminds me of, so, yeah. And then um, Black Sabbath Sabotage. <clears throat> so that's the front. Um, The back is... The same as last time, although I did add um, this Twisted Sister patch on the back. You've seen this patch before, it's nothing new, but I did add this here. Um, so I did bring out my stack of patches here. And I wanted to go over um, a layout. See what you guys think of the layout. You guys can give me suggestions as well. Um, so I know for sure that this one's getting used, this one, this one, um, maybe Black Sabbath, Alice Cooper's get for sure getting used, um, Death I think is gonna get used, Oz for sure, Anthrax for sure, I'm not sure what to do with this one, but I'll keep it aside, um, Motley Crue I might use maybe, Celtic Frost is definitely gonna get used, um, this motorhead patch will probably get used. And then I have some new ones to show you, but I'll save that for a little later because that's going on another jacket. <clears throat> so, so far I have these. And, um, what I was thinking with these patches, so what I was going to do was, I was going to, so I have this Twisted Sister one. I was going to put Alice Cooper right here. To mirror that, um, Anthrax, either here or, like, on this side somewhere. I'll keep it on this side for now, just to, for the sake of this video, I'll put it there. Um, and then another patch, like, over here. Um, I think Death might work better over here. Like, instead, so it might go, like, that, or then Anthrax can go here. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. I kind of have to play with the layout. But it'll probably look something like that. And then Oz will go here, probably. Sodom over here, I think. Yeah, Sodom will look good here. And then I'm thinking like this. So I get these like two circle patches or I can get these two square patches. Put Wasp here. Put Celtic Frost up here, like this. So it looks something like that. 
Or what I could do is not use these for the corners up there and use these circle ones instead. So it would look like that. And then these, this one I guess can go like up here on the shoulder. This one up here on the shoulder. And then have Black Sabbath, I don't know, in the center like this. And then I kind of want to get one of those big logos like I used to have up there and then the back would be complete so what do you guys think of this layout uh, is it cool is it not should I change anything about this um, go ahead and let me know in the comments below <clears throat> so that's it for this jacket I kind of just wanted to show you like kind of what I was thinking with the layout <clears throat> excuse me um, but yeah so this vest move that out of the way so um, my next vest that I want to show you, it's not a vest at all, actually. It is, oops, sorry about that, let me, just give me a second here. Yeah, we're back, we're back to shaky cam and unedited videos for the battle jacket updates, just like old times. So, yeah, welcome back shaky camera. <laughs> um, just like, you know, all my old videos, so. Here's the winter jacket. I believe I've showed you this a couple times and this whole front is the same. I still have Slayer here. Dark Angel, we have arrived here. Um, I don't remember what it was on the back of this. So I'll just show you the back anyway. I have Death, Screen Bloody Gore up there. I have um, Destruction right here, Eternal Devastation. And um, Metal Thrashing Mad right here on the bottom. So, <clears throat> yeah, that was, that's like the back, so I can show you guys the back. So, what I wanted to show you, oops, what I wanted to show you for this jacket, I'm just like falling apart here. My jacket fell off the hanger. Okay. All right, so, these are the new patches that I was talking about in my most recent video, not the Metal Hammer one, but the one before that, where I talked about how I haven't made a big a Battle Jacket video in a while. So these were the patches that I was talking about. They're just pretty basic. You have the Crimson Ghost here, the Misfits, um, Judas Priest, Killing Machine, or Hellbent for Leather, whatever you want to call it. Kill Em All from Metallica, and Iron Maiden Killers. Oops. So what I was thinking of doing was getting this Misfits patch and putting it on this shoulder because my Misfits tattoo is actually on my right shoulder and this is the right shoulder so I kind of wanted to put it there just to kind of match where my tattoo is at. And then probably put Judas Priest on the other shoulder too just to kind of mirror that. And then what I wanted to do as well was put like Iron Maiden right here and then Metallica there, just to have like two patches on the front. Cause the back is like really stacked and the front's just kind of plain. And so are the sleeves and like that's cool or whatever, but I got these patches nonetheless to put on here. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of that as well in the comments. Um, so here's that jacket. Um, and Next small little update is on the horror vest. So um, I did make a video about this one a while ago. Um, oh, and this, I have a, I actually have a tattoo of this right here on my arm. If you can see that. This, this tattoo is new and um, so is this one on my arm. Um, so yeah, I did get a couple new tattoos. Uh, for, they're pretty recent, but anyway, that's not what this video is about. So, um, I was, I got this, um, Freddy Krueger patch. Let me put it down so you can see it. So I got this Freddy Krueger patch that's going to go on the horror vest. I'm just not exactly sure where. It could go like, I don't know, right here. Or like on this side somewhere. Or he can go like on the back somewhere. Like he can go like right here or something or... Over here, I'm not exactly sure where. I'm gonna find a spot for him though, for sure. So that's that one. 
I do need more horror patches to put on here, and I have a couple in mind um, <clears throat> that I will for sure be getting to finish up this horror vest because I love horror, and I thought it would be different, different um, kind of, not unique because I've seen people with horror vests before, but something different for me other than just your standard battle jacket with band patches. And last but not least, the one jacket that I always get asked to show all the time. My original battle jacket. My pride and joy right here. I've done nothing to update this at all, but I know that some of you guys wanted to see this because it's been just such a long time since I've showed this off or just shown it in general, so... Yeah, here's my, here's the front. I have a lot of fun, good memories with this jacket. And here's the back. And a lot of memories making the battle jacket updates on this. It's just cool to see like how much like this, my original jacket has grown from like my very first battle jacket videos to now. You can see like this, gigantic progression and I think that's like the one cool thing about making the battle jacket updates is you can see how not just my vest but for anyone who does updates like this like you can see like the progression over time and I think that's what makes the battle jacket like unique and special so um anyways so that's this vest and my other vest over there hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys enjoyed the long-awaited battle jacket update that you guys have been waiting for for so long i promise i will work on this vest specifically i do have some um, plans to update this vest like to put something right here on the gap right here and um just fix this up a little so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed um this video and i'll see you guys in the next one